Wow, that is comfortable. Whew. Those of you guys who have followed me for long enough know this is not my typical go-to backcountry shelter um, backpacking setup. You know that, first of all, I'm not a ground dweller. I'm someone who likes to sleep from the trees. I love my hammock. It is hands down the most comfortable night's sleep I've ever gotten in the backcountry. Anywhere, anytime, you name it. It's just comfortable. I don't wake up with any sore spots and it's awesome. But I've shown you that before. You guys, I'll, I'll leave in the link in the cards here, my hammock setup, and that is definitely my number one go-to setup for backcountry camping. But I wanted to show you guys something different. But here is my setup if I ever have to go to the ground. And so you see, first of all, I use my war bonnet tarp. It's the big mama jama, and that's what I set up above me. Right now, this mode is if I'm preparing for a little bit of rain, but not the sideways stuff. It's not a true storm mode. And then you see, first of all, what you saw me lay out is I lay out Tyvek. Um, this one is the typical traditional Tyvek and it works really well for just acting as a water barrier. Honestly, what I'm thinking I'll end up doing at some point is making this more of a bathtub type floor in case water gets under the tarp or I'm in a, in a location that's not as ideal. And then you saw the X-Therm. So this is one reason I've been using a sleeping pad in my hammocks recently is to prepare for just a situation like this one where I have to go to the ground. And so this is a Neo Air X-Therm you saw me blowing up. It's really warm right now as I'm laying here. It wouldn't be a great uh, summer pad in the Northeast, but probably would work really well out West where it's gonna get cold really, really quickly. Um, and when I say out East, I'm talking my general area, the Smokies in, in general. We're not talking about the whites of New Hampshire. I, I probably would bring the X-Therm then. But one thing that you saw me use is you saw me lay the X-Therm down and that has worked really well for me. I'm using it right now, it's really comfortable. And then I use my dream hammock, so if I have to go to the ground, what my hammock becomes then is it becomes a bug bivy. And that's what I'm using it for right now. Of course, it's just practice. Um, but it works really well for that purpose. You just saw me just put the, um, the quilt in there and zip it up and you're protected from bugs. And then you saw my um, Enlightened Equipment 20 degree top quilt, which I'll continue to use and that works really well. The combination of those things i found has worked really well for me. You have to fine tune and works and find out what works really well for you. Um, that's kind of it. I'll come out here and give you guys a tour of the entire kind of ground dwelling setup that I would use in the back country. Here's an overview of the setup. So I set up my war bonnet, big mama jama, out towards the ground, just staked out at the ends. And I use my trekking pole, um, with the clove hitch right there and stick it out to the ground. And I can lower this and raise this depending on, on the type of weather we're having. And then on the inside, now that you don't have me fussing around in there, you see what I have is just regular tie that acts as a water barrier. And I have my Neo Air X Therm right there. The reason I chose that, and it's more for three season, is that sometimes if the weather changes really quickly, I want something that will keep me warm no matter what, and this this does the job. The Neo Air X Therm does a it's like laying on a car heated seat, a heated car seat, and it just reflects so much heat back to you, and it works really really well. And I've taken it down to about 25 degrees so far, and honestly, it has not missed a beat. And then if you look, this is my dream hammock, Darien. It's my favorite cottage industry brand of hammock. And this is the 1.6 Hyper D, I believe. And it works really well. Um, and in this case, I'm using it as a bug bivy. Um, of course, I'd love to hang in it more. And I just choose Dream Hammock because they do such a nice job of customizing all their different hammocks. You can really choose so many different options and it's quality made product. And I can't, you know, it's made right here in Ohio and I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And then of course you see the Enlightened Equipment 20 degree top quilt. And Enlightened Equipment, most of you guys know, makes great stuff. I've been really happy with it. 20 degrees is an accurate rating, I'd say. Um, any lower than that, and you start to feel a little bit of chill, 
um, but kind of right at 20 I've been comfortable especially with pairing that with the X-Therm has worked very well for me. Now the only other thing I, I mentioned I would change is make this Tyvek maybe a bathtub type 4 um, just in case I was sleeping somewhere that there was standing water and I, of course I don't want to get my quilt wet. Um, that's one other change I possibly would make as well as probably what I could do is stick out the hammock itself so it doesn't move around as much as a bug bivy but I kind of like to have it kind of loose but if I if you're one of those people who kind of like it more staked out and um, more secure that's an option is that you can use the whoopee slings to stake them out and keep the hammock from moving and and not have to fuss around there as much as I did all right, so that's it guys. Hopefully this was helpful for those of you who are thinking about your backcountry sleep system or shelter. There are so many great channels involved in this collaboration and thanks to Devin from Backcountry Exposure specifically for putting this together. The links are in the description below. Go ahead and check out these channels. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And I want you to encourage you guys to think about your sleep system as multi-purpose and variable and adjustable as possible because that's what I've tried to think through and try to think through situations where even though the hammock is by far the most comfortable sleep I've ever had, I want to make sure that if I'm sleeping in the ground that I'm still fairly comfortable as well. And that's why my system is what it is. It's pretty much flexible to fit a lot of different situations and scenarios. So I encourage you to think about that. Thanks for watching guys. Peace. Ow, my, uh, my neck from looking up at you guys so much hurts now. All right, whew. let's get out of here. It's like being born. Ugh. So that's it guys, that's my I feel like a model doing that. <laughs>